Hi there, welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a brilliant weekend. Uh, we have got a craft class coming up for you now. Over the next couple of hours, we're gonna be teaching you a whole host of awesome techniques, but also uh, bringing you some incredible deals as well. Uh, don't forget the penny sale is still running over on the website. We have got a corker of a hand selected deal for you it ends today so if you haven't had a chance to go over there and have a look around that section of the website and grab a bargain just yet then i think uh, you will still have time uh, just make sure you do it up until the end of midnight tonight uh, now i am not here on my own oh no she is back with me she's back in the building reunited with my tv wife debbie fisher is back with us how are you debbie i'm really well joe i've had a lovely sun saturday off and now we're ready to start sunday uh, uh, yeah, and I had my birthday last oh, weekend. How was it? So it was amazing. I had such a good time, family, friends, barbecues. Uh, I'm a bit knackered now, but uh, I'm glad to be back to work. <laughs> 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 I'm knackered now anyway, so I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, glad that you had uh, a nice time. Do we want to talk about the Spowl incident? Do we want to mention that? <gasps> Oh, what did they do about that? <laughs> yeah, what happened? Well, I did a nice... It is, it is there. I found it last night. I was with did my you? girlfriends last night. Can you night. show it to us later? Yeah, and, uh, and they wanted to watch it, so we did watch it again. Just for anyone that didn't see, what happened with this? So basically, I had the acrylic markers, and everyone knows me, knows that I am not an artist. I really can't draw. It's the one thing I wish I could. But I thought I would be able to draw an owl onto a piece of wood... Uh, but no, it ended up looking like a uh, gonzo spider. <laughs> <laughs> was it how, f I mean, just on, on a level, were we talking like wax seal was here? Where, where was it? Yeah, it was actually up there. Was it? Well okay. up there. It was, it was, it was so embarrassing. Yeah. Right. I know what we're going to be doing after this show. Uh, right. Uh, this show, though, Debbie, is going to be a little bit different, isn't it? It's all sort of looking at giftables. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's lovely about this is the fact that it's everything we can send to people with uh, personalisation on it, things that lift out. So uh, we've got things like this little gift bag that we're looking at here. I adore these liftables. They're just something that you can put onto everything. Uh, we've then got gorgeous love hearts in that design. We've got these really beautiful um, liftable letters and word, uh, uh, numbers uh, which just look amazing. We've also got the Sharon Callis frames. So all of these are things that we can give to people. We're going to be making some boxes, going to be making some cards. Uh, but if you like super cute boxes, we've got these ones on the show, Joe. I love these. We've done these really simple for you where there's a template to actually make the little box or uh, and there's then a die to actually make the embellishment on the front which you can either cut in or cut out so really beautiful little giftable boxes excellent so if you want to be creating gorgeous little gifts and this is definitely the craft class for you craft class is a great option if you to get any questions into me as well crafters tv if you are across on facebook if you're on youtube then it's crafts companion make sure you subscribe if you are over there we've put together a really lovely little gift a really lovely little gift makers collection for you and uh, what you're going to find in here is a load of awesome some things to help you with some of the projects that are going to be coming up in the show today. Uh, you're going to get in here the call out all purpose glue. Uh, you've also got a Nina cardstock, red liner tape, your tape pens, a couple of different ribbon selections, and you're going to get six of our awesome metallic markers in here for you as well and these are brilliant within here you're going to get the antique elements so that's going to give you the ancient bronze aged copper rose gold the tarnished silver vintage satin and also the antique pearl as well brilliant price for you uh, on that particular collection uh, because 11.99 or 16.95 is what you should be paying just for the metallic markers alone so definitely uh, grab those uh, also, I want to share with you uh, details of those Sharon Callis items that we just mentioned a moment ago. Been very busy on these. They are on an absolute stonking great deal, these. Uh, you're saving 55% on these. £17 or $25 becomes £13.60 or, or $20 as a Platinum member. So you've got in there your bobbin frame. You also have your Venetian lace frame and you've got the Irish lace frame in there, kind of like a, an, um, a nesting die with that really lovely fancy lacy edge on them, which is awesome. That is a, an amazing price there on those. Uh, something else uh, that we've hand-selected from the uh, penny sale, actually, 
is the left fold alphabet. Now, uh, these are what you are actually paying for, plus a penny, uh, because uh, what you're then going to get as well for that extra penny is you're going to get the amazing alphabet. So you've got then the alphabet there as well. The alphabet on its own is worth 25 pounds. So you pay a penny for it and it's a left fold. So it means that you get this really uh, cool modern feel uh, and design. Snip them all the way out and use them just as a regular alphabet die if you want to, or you can uh, really do this awesome concept. It's completely up to you, 12 pounds or 16 dollars to get not only an alphabet set, but also a numbers set as well, which is incredible. So lots of personalization, really great for um, box frames, door plaques, wall hangers, a whole host of different jobs that you're gonna be able to achieve with those. Uh, loads of you saying hello to me, keep getting your questions in. I wanna share with you a couple of the other bits that are going to be coming up a little later in the show. You've got the favor box dies and stencil, a four pack collection here for you, 40 pounds or 47.20 as platinum members. The floral frames, these are brilliant. These are always popular. If you love to colour and get your colouring mediums out, you're going to adore these. Uh, 5196 or 5980 for platinum members on those. Uh, these are back in stock. Now, these have been out of stock, I kid you not, for months. Uh, and so many brilliant uses for these in soft crafting, also in your paper crafting as well. 640 or 1040 for platinum members. Uh, you get 48 magnets in total there in those ones. Loads of you saying hello from all over the place. Uh, I'll get to you and read some of those out very, very shortly. But Debbie, I know she's like a coiled spring over there, Debbie, aren't you? Uh, slightly knackered coiled spring, but a coiled <laughs> spring nonetheless, ready to burst into action. I do, I do sometimes have a, a choice of words, don't I? So, um, yes, apologies for my, um, <laughs> my knackeredness. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find myself some plates, Joe. So, I thought you were going to say I was just trying in. to find myself then. I was like, uh, always trying to find myself <laughs> Joe. <laughs> so just bringing in my balls these are all well used balls down here aren't they but they will do the trick so there we go oh we found the spell by oh, the way no. <laughs> it's excellent apparently i look forward to seeing that afterwards so i was on with nigel may on creating craft tv and, um, and he's not the sort of person that let you just, you know, casually maybe live it down and move I've on. I've never seen Nigel laugh so much, Have actually. You not? And he then said that he, he wanted. <laughs> so Johnny's just said to me, why did you put the other one next to it? Because the other one was very good and I wanted to make a point that I had painted it. But actually, they. Nigel did say that made it worse by putting it to next to For it. For anyone that so doesn't um, have any idea what we're talking about, <laughs> Debbie was doing some shows on creating crafts. She tried to buy, uh, you'll be able to get it on catch up somewhere, but she tried. She, she drew an owl uh, that looked like a spider and then bought the original owl in to compare it with uh, as well. <laughs> But we, he, we um, need to see that. he actually said he's took it away. He said he's not giving it away now. Has he kept because, it? Yes, because he wanted to get it made into a T-shirt. <laughs> 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 I'm hoping there's no way that he can do that. There is very easily. <laughs> How do you get something that's printed onto something else onto I a T-shirt? I think you just take a picture of it and then you can send it off to a company and they'll uh, they'll turn it into a T-shirt for you. Oh dear. <laughs> The worst thing was on the um, on the next show, they um, they actually uh, Nigel then showed it throughout the whole show, so it would turn out in a little box. It would be on the shelf. So yes, he was quite mean. Yeah, it, uh, and and I really I I've, genuinely I was really looking forward to the acrylic markers being on the show today, but I believe they've sold out, haven't they, Johnny? <laughs> totally gone. We were going to get you to recreate recreate the spell in this show. Um, yes. But, but do you uh, know what, Joe? What's, what's amazing is the acrylic markers, they've sold out because they are so amazing. They are. Genuinely. And I had I could use them in every other way apart from to draw with. But my original one was, I was really pleased with my original one. It came out okay. really well. And I did a cat on the on stone and actually that was here last week and someone George the director told me it looked like a drunk cat oh. so yeah I, I didn't do very well with uh, doing my markers anyway back on to what we're doing here so we're starting off with our card what I have done is use one of Sharon's so we've got Sharon Callis's dies I'm using this one which is the bobbin lace frame it's absolutely beautiful what I don't have in this one in your collection you will have outline frames to go with your frames 
these. I don't have one in the pack that we've got up here, so it's obviously uh, gone somewhere else. But what I've done is created an aperture in my card to create our first part. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in all these elements here because we've then used our outline die to cut out and I don't have the outline die but you'll see it's just slightly bigger all the way around so that would cut out your aperture to do then your mats and layers for the fronts of your cards and I love that that we can do that within a card we can cut these beautiful um, decorative doilies really out which have a lovely frame we can then cut another one out of the center which I'm going to do so bringing in this center one popping it in to here. Now the middle bit of this I'm going to bring that over. We've got this one then cut out. Keep this because what I'm going to incorporate in here is our liftables. We've got the liftables on the show and I'm going to bring in the butterflies so we can cut them into here. But first of all I'm going to just trim out the center of my die here. So let me just bring in my plates. I'm just going to find my junior plates as Okey well. Doke. It's the one thing um, I normally always have ready and I haven't got them all ready. Loads of you tuning in and saying hi. Uh, Georgianne's in Clearwater. Vicky is in San Diego. She's happy crafting. Uh, Linda's tuning in from Maryland. Who else is here? Deborah's in California. Joy in New York. Hey, Joy. Uh, Janet's in Pennsylvania. Fre Fran is saying hello from Maryland. Uh, Laurie's in Ohio. Ohio, Laurie. Uh, Rebecca from Austin as well. Teresa's in from Long and we've very got all the US uh, all the US viewers in today haven't we where's UK in the house uh, Norma's uh, says oh lots of nice deals on this show these for instance I was just having a little look there 12.99 each these should be so what 13 pounds or 19 dollars so you're getting the extra two sets for four pounds or six dollars that is unbelievable value uh, they've been really really popular since we launched them great to have them on at such a great price and um, they're really awesome I guess you're going to find lots of different uses. I mean, they're surely as versatile as like a nesting die in my in my imagine as I imagine them, Debbie. Oh, absolutely, Joe. Uh, and and also you've got that added element of the decorative frame, which is amazing. So yeah, it's so so useful. You will love them. Uh, and so many different mats and layers. So many different ways that you can use them. I mean, these would be great to actually put in your picture frames. Nice. You could actually have a picture frame and frame your actual picture with them as well because they're so pretty. So that's our first one done. I'm going to then lay this over the top of my uh, green one. This will then enable me to see where I can place my dies. So I'm just going to grab my edible, sorry, not my edible, my liftable dies. Edible? Edible. Oh, Ed edible. I and I didn't edible. mean to say Don't edible. Them. They're lif liftable Ooh. dies. <laughs> imagine the x-ray. It's a fluttering fairy in there. Uh, what, sorry? So imagine the x-ray. Just be a fluttering fairy in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I could put a fairy in there, Joe. My actual demo is done with the butterflies, so um, shall we change it so we've no, got a different look? I no, I like the butterflies. Oh, you like butterflies? Okay, we'll go with the butterflies. So let's pop this into place, and then I'm just going to put some of the small ones. So let's put a couple, and I'm just making sure that we've got them. Let's pop them in different positions, and then I'm just going to use a small one as well. I'm going to pop that there. So let me just grab some low-tack tape, take those down. I think we can just pop them all in there at the same time and send them ones through. Awesome. Now, the great thing about these uh, liftables is that they're all disconnected, isn't it, Debbie? So, you know, whether you're using them on the biggest project imaginable mm -hmm. or a tiny little project, yep. all those assorted sizes are fantastic for... Uh, and also, because the way you can arrange them, you're going to have something completely unique every time you use them. I think they're a really awesome idea. Yeah, they're so lovely to add into anything. So I, I like that the fact that you can add them as embellishment toppers, but you can also cut them into smaller toppers to add anywhere you want them to go. So you can see there, we've lifted those. If I lift the wings, they've stayed in my card, but I've actually got them cut out. So looking lovely. And actually we can make them look a lot nicer, Joe, because I'm gonna now put my card together, but we're gonna use, where we cut our mats and layers out on the front, I'm gonna use that gray piece, this one, which will go inside, and then we can put that over the top because that's the perfect fit and you can see that really then highlights those liftables and then we've got the frame to go over that as well so everything matches with the frames so let's put it all together 
Excellent. Um, Shadaya saw the show uh, and she said she laughed and she, she cried with a spell. Um, <laughs> Shadaya says, I love the Sharon Callis frames. Uh, they are the best frames ever. I have a collection of them. I love them. And this is an incredible price. Kaz is in from London. Hi, Kaz. She's repping for the UK. Uh, Joyce loves where this car is going. Karen says, afternoon, everyone, from a sunny Devon. Afternoon. Hi. Oh, I bet it's gorgeous down there this time of year. Uh, Joan saying hi from Chompsford as well. Uh, hi, Joan. Uh, yes. Uh, so what did you do for your birthday then? What celebrations took, took place, Debbie? So on the Saturday, we had a uh, big barbecue. My daughter put on a big barbecue with all my family, nice. uh, which was lovely, yes. Uh, and then my partner and his um, daughters come as well, which was nice. really nice. So we all got together and celebrated the day. So that was so lovely. Um, I've got such amazing kids, John. I'm very lucky. So I got Aww. spoilt rotten. Um, and uh, and then the next day we got, we come back and uh, we had my partner's family round and we had just had a big games day and literally played ball games all day right through till half one in the morning. Wow. <laughs> no wonder you're knackered. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then on my birthday, which was on the Monday, I then headed down to um, Peterborough because I was then on shows on Tuesday, uh, but we did get a Thai takeaway. Oh, nice. it was delicious. Oh, sounds it like was, a great birthday, Yeah, Debbie. it was really lovely. I feel, oh, wrong one. I feel really lucky. I was spoilt rotten and, uh, and had a nice rest as well. But you then think I need a break. I need a re I need to get back to work because it's been quite tiring because we've done so much. Does that make sense? No. Does it not make sense? Do you it's not kind get of a little bit, yeah. really okay. tired when you do so much? And you almost, yeah, you have to get I back to work for a rest. I love that you come back rest. to work for a rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny's knows all about that, leaving the children at home coming to work for a rest, he says. <laughs> yeah, when you've got kids, that is very true, isn't it? Yeah, very true. Sorry, oh, you got some water there, Debbie. So I'm just going to grab some oh, water. Oh, you grab some water. Don't you worry about that. Beth has just ordered the liftable butterflies uh, and dragons. Yeah, they are available on the show for you. Uh, we'll have a look at those in just a moment, actually. Right, so we're just doing all our mats and layers. Just making sure I put it the right way. There we go. And because you've got those different sizes in the frames, uh, you've actually got that extra borderline around your uh, card as well, which just looks really pretty. So you can see our white is just showing through the centre there. So popping that all into place. I mean, look how gorgeous that now looks, Jo. And then we've got that aperture front card. And then on the inside, we can then pop these together. So when you're doing your liftables, just make sure where you put your glue. And in fact, I'm going to switch to my tacky glue because I can get precision with this rather than my um, tape pen. And what I would recommend is hold in your wings and just put your glue around the edges, not onto the wings of the butterflies because you want them to still be lifting up. Let's go through the body and all the way around. And then we can just stick that on to the front. Now we know that that's perfectly sized for that border. So we can just pop that into place. And then we've got those gorgeous liftables. You could uh, ink them to make them even more, nice. um, pop even more. Or you can add a bit of glue or some gems. So that's that. And then what I would suggest is when you go to put this on, just put it into place first so you can see where it's going to go and I'm going to use the wet glue again because then I have a little bit of wiggle room yeah, and I'm using wiggle. yeah and I'm using tacky glue because I'm putting it on to Centura Pearl so I don't want my Centura Pearl um, to lose any of its coating when I'm moving this bit around and there we go putting that into the center and then we've got our one thing to put on then Joe, which is that extra frame that we've had, which will fit perfectly into that gap. And I'm going to now switch to my dotty tape pen because the dots will go through. I'm just going to grab myself a piece of kitchen towel to do my dots onto so they don't get all over my mat. You don't want to get it mucky. Jan will be, Jan will be fuming when she comes in like the It's all <laughs> sticky. I normally clean the mat. One, one thing I don't get sticky is the mat. Al Sara's the worst person is for she? that. Yeah. You watch her demo the glue. Always the, um, a sticky mat when she's been in. Yeah, always. Yeah. Sara will just do that onto the sticky mat. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm out in her there. You are, you are. <laughs> so just popping that inside because that's perfectly fitted into there. And I obviously didn't fit my other one properly in. Oh, that shows how sticky those dots are. Let's pop that round. They're so detailed, aren't they? Aren't they These pretty? Frames, I mean, how gorgeous is that as a top art with your liftables and then into here? And all I've got is a nice big thank you to put on the front there. Gorgeous. Did you mention where that paper pad was sheet was from, Debbie? It's, um, I don't think I did. It's, it's from oh, it's on the tip of my traditional tongue. florals. That's where it's from, yes. traditional florals. I have to keep thinking because I keep using so many at the moment and I'm running out of this one, Joe, and I'm not sure if we've got, I don't think we've got any in stock not at, sure the it is in stock yeah. at the moment. not sure it is in But there we go. We've got our beautiful liftable one without Sharon Callis frame. So a beautiful card to gift to anybody. Awesome. Carol D says grey is a much overlooked colour when it comes to crafting. So shout out for Debbie to, for using it in her demos. Uh, I want to share with you the uh, metallic markers that we've got available for you on the show. Uh, so this is how they're going to come to you. Uh, you get three of the six packs, uh, which is excellent. It is a full collection, this as well. Uh, and they're brilliant because there's loads you can do with them. They'll go onto loads of different surfaces, which is brilliant. And you've got the rare minerals, which is your amethyst, blue, topaz, jade, green, citrine, red, garnet, and pink quartz. You've got the precious metals. That's a gold plate, gold nugget, burnished copper, and the antique bronze. They really do pick up and play with the light beautifully. And then the antique elements. That's again, ancient bronze age you're right over there debbie you, you okay should we just go and make sure debbie's all right a sec sorry go, you, you okay <laughs> what's going on <laughs> well i dropped one butterfly and then yeah. i couldn't find it so and then i dropped the other one and i oh, can't find it to come have a look that's okay they'll tell all right them. wonderful <laughs> uh well you're also going to get in here the <laughs> antique elements uh, as well that's the ancient bronze the aged copper the rose gold the tarnished silver uh, vintage chatting and the antique pearl has anyone got a metal detector I think Debbie might, might uh, you I've, might need to use I've one of those magnets. <laughs> uh, 20 pounds or 30 dollars is a great saving. 16 pounds is what you're saving or 20 dollars. But Platinum members can get them uh, for 16 pounds or 24 dollars, which is amazing. So less than half price for Club Inspired Platinum members, which is brilliant. Those liftables that we just looked at a moment ago, we look at, looked at them, Debbie's looking for them. Uh, these, <laughs> with, these are your liftables. Now these are great because they're in assortment of sizes. You can cluster them together. You can lift up elements of these as well. So the great thing is, if you're working on a small project, you want to put loads of small ones on there, you can mix up the uh, sizes. But what it means is that you're going to be able to use them on any size project. You can use loads of them. You can use one as an embellishment. It is completely up to you. But they do all have uh, these liftable elements, which is awesome. You've got the flowers in here, the hearts. You've got the dragonflies. And you've also got here the butterflies too, uh, if you want to go for them. Any two of those for £18 or $24, best way to get the best value is to, of course, go for uh, the whole collection, which is brilliant. Right, also want to share with you again, I've got so many goodies on the show today, want to share with you the left fold alphabet. Now, these are inc an incredible deal because it's part of our penny sale. So essentially, you're buying the numbers. 14 99 is what you'll pay for these. They're excellent, great for milestone birthdays, but for a penny more, you get 25 pounds worth of alphabet included too. And they are awesome. Now, they are left fold, so as you can see, they all fold to that left hand side uh, and they give you uh, that aperture behind too. So you're gonna be able to pop things behind there. I was going to say it just for Charlotte, but I'm not going to, don't worry. Uh, they give you a great opportunity to craft. I know Charlotte likes that one. She's not entertaining it today. Not today. No, no, she's saying. Uh, so you, for a penny, you get these. Now, these should be £24.99, which is amazing. So great that you get. Should they be £24.99 or £29.99? I feel like I might be short. 20 shut the front door. Uh, because there should be twenty nine ninety nine. That's amazing. Joseph, Mary and the wee donkey. Honestly, what a great price uh, you got on there. So you get the alphabets and you get the uh, numbers in there. And that is why a third of the stock of these has gone. Uh, right, loads of you chatting away with me. Any questions you've got, keep getting them in. Should we get some pictures coming in, Debbie? What do we want to see? Idea. Maybe we want to see pictures of gifts. Maybe things people have gifted to you in the past that you've absolutely loved. 
uh, send us in pictures of those gifts, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk, because this craft class is all themed uh, around, of course, gifting and giving, which is awesome. Right, Debbie, what would you like to have a look at next? Right, so I thought what's the best gift to give someone is something that's really personalised. So we are doing another card. We are going to be making boxes and things through the show, but we're doing another card which will show real personalisation uh, and, uh, and state what you want it to state. So all I'm going to do, I have took some my circle dies and I've cut some pretty papers out and I'm just going to spell the word fab. So we're awesome. going to put fab and we're then going to use our numbers because we're going to put this down as, and I'm going to do a 53. Now, not for any reason other than it doesn't matter what age somebody is, you can personalise it. And that's what I love about having the numbers on here. So what we're going to do is add our, our 53 here. Now, what's really special about these numbers and letters is if I turn it over, we don't have a cutting edge on the side. It's just like a dented line, which means it will fold. Uh, it will actually put the uh, embossed line into it, but it will only cut out the rest. So when you place these into your cardstock, they're going to cut out beautifully but only where you want them to cut they will stay into the card so I'm going to just place them onto here and then our fab and because they're circles I'm not too worried where they are in that circle as long as they look roughly central and then I've got a bigger one which I'm using the 53 so we can pop that just in there. Now I do think I perhaps need to um, put some tape on to hold those ones down. So let's pop that into place. And where is my, uh, right in front of me Joe. So popping them in, we haven't got very straight boards at the moment. So I'm just, I think I might have, oh, well I've got them already done so I haven't got to worry about those anyway. But I'm sure they'll be fine if I be really careful offering it into the machine. So offering it in, letting them go through. They're going to cut beautifully into that cardstock. Awesome. Uh, Sandra sent this in. She says, uh, oh, she just finished yesterday's craft along. She sent this in a picture of it. Thank you very much for that. Pammy Clayton says, those are beautiful. I love your classes. And hubby keeps spoiling me and buying everything. Hello Aww, from California, Kentucky. Hang on, there's a place called California in Kentucky. Now that's confusing, isn't it? Mm. Hello, Pammy, Pammy's in California, Kentucky. California, Kentucky. Wow. Yeah, I don't even think they're near each other, are they? Yeah. Oh, yes, that maybe that's nice. what we should do. Maybe you can send us in strange place names. Strange Funny place names. Place we haven't names. done it for ages. Honestly, there's some great ones. Please <laughs> make them clean, clean enough to read out on air. Uh, but yeah, send us in strange place names. Absolutely. Right, so Joe, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use a little bit of ink, but what I'm also going to do is uh, show you how we can, I'm trying to find myself a little bit of card so I don't waste much. Um, what we're going to do is pop a piece of card underneath and then I'm going to pop a piece of card on that straight, if it, we had a straight edge, there we go, on the straight edge. That way I can actually ink up oh, cool. that piece in the centre. And it just changes the look of our, our uh, actual letter. Look at that. So it really nice. makes it pop and you get that perfect letter rather than, because a lot of the time we would go in and say trim out again and mat and layer on the top. But actually it's very simple to do that. And we can do the same. Let's do it with the A and do some pink. What ink pads are you using here, Debbie? So I'm just, well, I'm actually just using my uh, ink daubers and they've got just, um, uh, they've got all sorts of ink on. So this one I can see straight away, it looks chalky. So this okay. would be pigment ink. The green that I just used was a, um, water reactive but they last a long time your inks on there so I can still go in and use them I'm just going to go again find that line and then we can just ink onto there and it just really brings up those letters and there we go. Look how much that then pops out oh, that's of there. Awesome. So yeah, amazing. So really good way nice of just adding. On, nice doing it tone on tone as well. So it highlights them, but it's still yeah. quite subtle, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, which is really nice. 
So pop them to the side. The next thing we're going to do is bring in some circles and we can then mat and layer them onto the top of our circle. So I've just used my stitched edge nesting dies. So I'm going to pop them to the side and then bring in. So we've done all of these. So we've got fab and then I've done an at and then we've got our 53 that we've cut out. Love it. So I did do a 50 and then I thought, well, actually, let's just show that we can do any age. We don't have to do it just because it's a big birthday. So let's again bring in those inks and then we can just ink our 53. Just a nice way of doing something a little bit different. Look at that, good stencil as well. That proves that's a pigment ink pad because it goes on to uh, the black cardstock. So I'm just going to go through that piece there. Again, putting that onto the edge and, and just inking over there. Awesome. Love that. Okay. Loads of people uh, chatting. I lots of... Um Lots of people sending in funny place names as well. We'll talk about those <laughs> shortly. Have a good old chuckle. Have you get, done that before then, get the Joe? fishes. Yeah, a long time ago though. My favourite place name story is that, you know the Women's Institute, what's it called? Is it in the US? Do you have something called like the Red Hat Club or something like, it's something along those lines, isn't it? Uh, is it the Red Hat Club? Johnny's talking to me, but he hasn't got me turned on, so I can't hear what he's saying. Uh, <laughs> Red Hat Club, thank you, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so, the Red Hat Society. So, in the UK, we have the Women's Institute. Yeah. And then, so if it was in, like, we're in a place called Newton Acliffe, so the Women's Institute here would be called uh, Newton Acliffe Women's Institute. If it was in Bedford, it would be Bedford Women's Institute. Oh, okay. There is a place in Essex called Ugly. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> and it's the only women's institute in the world where it's the women's institute of rather than being called the ugly women's institute. <laughs> That's <laughs> Makes funny. me laugh every single time. <laughs> Never fails to amuse me. <laughs> I don't know any funny names myself. Do you, Joe? Oh, there's so many around here. In this part of the world, there is absolutely lots of them. Is that because they are said a different way? I don't think so. No, it's how they're spelt more than anything. Ah, oh, okay. I do know some, yeah. I'm, I'm saving it, Charlotte. I'm, you know, I'm building suspense. Yeah, <laughs> you can't just give it all away at the, at the start, you know. You don't, want to peak, to you don't want to peak early, do you? Don't want to peak too soon. Right, so there's our 53. So we've got all our different numbers. I'm just going to bring in a really quick card here. I've already sort of mat and layered my uh, Z fold card. Just going to put the rest down onto here. Just use my glue round the edges and pop that into the center and have that so we've got a really nice fun card i've done this quite big i mean it's a five by seven uh, yes a five by no it's not it's an eight um, i've completely lost my track it's eight by six inch card show i knew it was bigger than a five by seven just couldn't get my words out and then we're going to use so these bits here can you see if we fold those back we've then got that liftable element coming out which gives it a 3d effect so just fold in these ones and we want our fab and our other a because we want the middle one and then we're just going to glue these into place. So start with the, the top and the bottom, because what these will do is act as your uh, ones that guide your uh, top piece of your card and the bottom. So we'll pop that into there. And then using our other one. What a fun, uh, lovely sort of card this is. Yeah, really, really fun. Really cool. And just one of a lot of things I imagine you're going to do with these left fold alphabets. To get them for £15, Debbie, £12 for Platinum members is quite unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, if yeah. you don't own them, absolutely, uh, you should grab them. And we're right in thinking we could just snip the whole letter out if we wanted to as well, Debbie. Oh, totally. And just use it as a regular alphabet. Yeah, brilliant idea. Absolutely. Yes, if you haven't got an alphabet, then that's a great way to uh, use them with... So we've got our fab there, and then in, and then oh, do you know what I've done, Joe? Forgot to put my thingy on. Look, we, this was supposed to go across the bottom. Oh, well, maybe we'll just have it. Just be a single. Yeah, we we'll just have a single. Well, single fold. So gatefold card. So then we put our at, and then fifty three. So we, in fact, we just put them all down the side there. So let's do this one. On to this side, and then we've got them all worked out, haven't we? 
do that straight. And then our 53, in fact, I think we'll put our 53 on pads. So I've got that one over there. So we've got our at. I love that these lift out, Joe. It makes them just uh, very different to other things that we've done before. Yeah, and gives them dimension, it just creates more interest, which is absolutely awesome. So let's take our foam pads off and put in our 53. And there we go, I've done that slightly bigger because that's the number one. And there we go, so our fab at 53. And it doesn't matter what you put that on, uh, you can put any age, any name uh, and do anything you want to, but just a really nice, fun card. And if I just bring in my other one, I've done a fab at 50, which is the one where we've just done it across the bottom of our scent fold. But two uh, nice different looks. <laughs> awesome. Uh, really, really great uh, card and a great way to uh, it's a great way to get hold of them while you're getting both of them for that amazing price. So you've got your numbers uh, right there, which is awesome. So uh, one through to zero and your ampersand. But remember, you're getting these worth £30 for a penny, which is incredible value for money. It really is. Uh, loads of you uh, letting me know about funny place names. I'll read some of them out. I'll go through them and see which ones are readable. Uh, and then I will, uh, I'll read some out for you. I think whilst I filter out the readable ones, maybe I can give you an opportunity to check out your baskets. So whilst you do that, here's all the details on uh, US delivery and also Club Inspire. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular six to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Uh, right, lots of funny place names coming in. Uh, there's a place called Toad Hole Furnace in Derbyshire. That sounds fun. Uh, there's a town called Effin in Ireland. Uh, Kathy Shields has a strange name uh, in Kentucky. It's called None Such. Hmm. Rhonda says there's a place in French Polynesia called the Disappointment Islands. She goes on to say, I can't imagine being disappointed in any way in French Polynesia. There you are. There's also Paris in Kentucky. Um, there's a Wymondum in Norfolk and one here in Rutland, but the one here is pronounced Wymondham. There you are. Wyndham. Wyndham. I live okay. near Wyndham. Do you? Yeah, so that's Wyndham, but it is spelt Wymondham. Um, there is a place in Tasmania called Eggs and Bacon Bay. Oh Sounds my like, goodness, that's, right, that's where I'm retiring. 
Uh, there is also one in County Durham called Pity Me. I've been past that one quite a few times. Uh, there we are. There are loads of funny ones uh, that we found that, uh, and people sent into us that we cannot read out, I'm afraid. If you're in the comments <laughs> on Facebook, I'm sure you're all having a good old chuckle about them uh, on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Now, let me just share with you what we're going to be having a look at next. We're going to be having a look at uh, these awesome favour boxes next. Now, what you've got here, this one is the Happy Heart favour box. And what it does is it gives you this design just here now i think that is awesome it's got to be great i think they're a really usable little size so everything from like balloon weights to you know little handmade gifts maybe even bath bombs could go in there there's lots of different ways you're going to be able to use them so that's the happy heart then this one here is your country cottage favor box which is uh, awesome now the country cottage one is this one just here i'm guessing it's called country cottage because of that uh, wonderful detailing that you've got uh, on the top of that one the next one here for you, this one is your Locking Heart uh, favour box. Now that is that one uh, just there, which is beautiful, really gorgeous, loads of detail in these. And then you've also got this one, which is your Ornate favour box too. So you're going to get all of them in there. Platinum members are looking at £10 per design, which is awesome value for money and just something you can do a lot with. I can imagine these in bathrooms with like nice little smellies and stuff in them, Debbie. Oh, I love that idea. Uh, maybe little uh, tea lights in them as well, uh, which you can light up, which would look lovely. Uh, I love this one because I think you could put little holes in these uh, and in the summer string them up as little lanterns, um, even under your parasols in your garden under the table. I think it's a really pretty one to have. And if you use those dies to go straight through, if I turn it that way, you can see it's straight through the centre so you can cut them in. And I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that. Now, now, we've kept these at a really low cost because the dies themselves we've managed to give in, we've put in here four of the dies which means you can cut out all those panels in one go so it awesome. makes it so super easy it means that you can use these dies on bigger projects as well if you, especially if you've got your Gemini Pro so what we're going to do is start right at the beginning we've got the template uh, to draw around them so they're nice and easy now you could use spray glue on the back you could use your uh, tape just to hold them down but I'm just going to uh, hold it onto my Centura Pearl and then just draw around them so it's super easy so just going around all those corners I mean it doesn't matter if you use a pen a pencil as long as you can it's sharp enough to get into the little score lines because and will you, you cut do... the line away Debbie uh, which line away the, the line that you're using here for the edge around the edge Yes, yeah, you would cut that away. So we'll show exactly how we do that, Joe. So in the meantime, what I am doing is putting all these lines in the centre as well, because these will act as your score lines. You can also, if you do want to mat and layer any shapes onto the sides, you can use also these score lines so you can draw around those. So if you want different coloured sides. So I'm just going to come round here now. So it doesn't take long to... Um, to draw around the template and each template is the same they're all the same size boxes they've just right. got those different types of tops on them awesome so can we mix we can mix and match in the decorative elements between them oh absolutely you can use any of those panels on e any one of the boxes yes and there we go, so nice and uh, quickly. Now, it's up to you how you do things. I quite like using a craft knife, so I like to go in. So even though the, te the template doesn't go right into them, I'm going to go up to that line and just cut up. And then that will give me my starting point. Now I'm quicker than I am. I am quicker with a knife than what I am with a pair of scissors. Right. Sarah would use scissors because she's a wizard scissors. Um, and uh, but for me, I just can't seem to cut a straight line. Okay. So if you're like me and can't cut a straight line, uh, invest in a craft knife because and, and a glass mat because what the glass mat does is it takes away the pressure joe if i'm okay. if this was a self-healing mat i'd be having to press a lot harder but what it means move my template out the way is i can glide around and move my piece of card so i know i'm getting that precision exactly where i want it and all i'm going doing is going around cutting all those lines out so super, super easy. And again, going down to that part, trimming it round. 
and it's really only on the curves on a straight line it's fine you could then grab your scissors uh, and have no problem in cutting them out so um, I should time myself really because I'm rubbish with scissors Joe. Oh are you, see are I you love good? cutting stuff out. Yeah a lot of people do don't I they? Craig's love the it. same but I'm just uh, I've never been good with um, with scissors. Uh, very busy on these. Uh, Joy Sampson says, great idea, Debbie. Love uh, the hanging lantern idea. So a really lovely thing you can do with them. Uh, I mean, the thing is, you can go out and buy boxes like this, but why would you when you can do them yourself? And the great thing is, when you're making them yourself, Debbie, obviously you're getting them in the colourways you want them, the finishes you want them. If you want to personalise them, you've got the option to do that then as well. You're getting exactly what you need because you can never go out and buy the exact box for what it is you're after. I always find anyway. You always end up with something that's too big or too small or doesn't quite fit right. Oh, totally. Yeah, always the way. I think it's a really nice idea to, um, to make your own boxes and it's more personal, isn't it? Absolutely. So the scissors are out, Debbie? Uh, yes, because I'm on straight lines, oh, okay. Joe. I'm all right on straight, on straight lines. lines. Yeah, on straight lines, it's fine. I've literally got to just cut across. Uh, and also, I always think on the straighter lines, it's normally where your tabs are going to go in. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you're a little bit out on those. So just cutting that across. And then we just got to do our snips up. Well, we've got another show today together. We you like buses shows for us. None yeah, for ages. We, do and then that. Two, yeah. two, we haven't worked together for a little while now, have we? No. It's a couple of weeks. Uh, we've got Second Chance Sunday coming up later today. Uh, a great opportunity for you to be able to get your hands on uh, all of our recent launches. Right, it's a really jam packed show, that one. Uh, it's going to be absolutely awesome. 7 pm in the UK, 2 pm on the East Coast, 11 am uh, for West Coasters. So make sure you join myself and Debbie for that as well a little bit later today. Yeah, I love a second chance Sunday because we literally do get that chance to show you all, all the bits that you've loved, all the things that we've loved. Uh, right, well, so with this now, Joe, or where we've got those score uh, marks that we've put in, I'm going to find my line there and we're just going to put our score lines very quickly in. So you don't have to, um, let's put my smaller one there. Um, yeah, you don't have to worry about where they are because obviously um, you can see exactly where you're putting them. Uh, and if you do go a little bit wrong, um, <laughs> if you do go a little bit wrong, don't <laughs> worry about, I was laughing at the slurping, Joe. <laughs> Was that? Oh, and now I'm thinking it was Joe. It wasn't because, me. Um, no, it was Charlotte. Ah, because I just looked up and see um, see Joe with his. So just putting in all of these at the bottom. If you go a little bit out, just move it to where you need them. And that's as quick as it is to do those boxes, so not a problem at all. Now, if you did want to use these as two pieces to them, what I love is that you can cut them all out at once. Now, if you want to cut out a whole frame and decorate it, you can. If you want to cut it into these panels, you can do that as well. So lots of different ways that you can do them, but we will cut them out in a second. And then all I'm going to do is fold all of the oh we want to fold them sorry we want to fold them the other way because um, we don't want to see our pencil line I mean you could rub out the pencil line but to be honest you're not going to notice that once all your folds are done turns out Paris in Texas has got an Eiffel Tower in Texas yes yeah. Wow. Adriana said there's a picture of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, Texas. Oh, wow. We'll see that soon. I see it's a school day today here, here at um, Crafters TV, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is, absolutely. So is it because, do you think it's called that because of... I'd imagine so. Most places, a lot, a lot of places in the States are named after other places in Europe, aren't they? There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of places that are the same and are called after them. I think, now... I'm surmising here. I think obviously because um, a lot of settlers from Europe moved to uh, the US and they took place names with them, like New York, obviously, and York, uh, New England. Uh, Boston is a place in the UK as well. Uh, there's loads and loads of them that are, that are the same name. Yes, because that's where people settled when they moved from this country to that one. There you go. It definitely is uh, a school day every day here, it isn't really, it? really, really is. And they're actually quite decent, uh, you know, factual information today, not just useless Eurovision uh, facts, <laughs> which is what you normally get. Oh, but you're we love we love useless Eurovision, though. Well, you, you, we, you're safe now. It's not going to happen until next year again now, so you're <laughs> right. I reckon around till about, till about February now, you, you're all right. 
<laughs> right, so we're just putting our final tab in and popping that together. So our box has come together really, really quickly. But what I am going to do, Joe, I'm just going to go inside and just reinforce where we've put that tape. So at the sides there, just making sure that that's, we rub that down to make that ultra sticky. And then on the bottom, I'm just going to, and if you, uh, I'm going to rub down, but if you wanted to put something a little bit more weightier in the box, let's say it was a little bottle of perfume, but it might be a little bit weighty, uh, what I would say is in your bottom, create another piece of square and just put that in the bottom and it will just reinforce that. Awesome. So all you do is fold your sides down and then you can put these tabs together and that literally creates your heart on the top of your box so super super simple now if you did want to cut them out I've got some different ones here so I've just created different um, ones that I've cut out all in one go you can cut these and they cut out beautifully and in fact let's just put some through I've got some already for sticky paper uh, but I do want you to see uh, how well you can just cut them all in one go and that was the whole point of these designs is the fact that you can just cut them out. So let me bring in my um, Gemini plates and we will pop these on. So I think we can put two at the top and two at the bottom. How large is that glass mat you're working on, asked Deborah? The glass mat is an A3 in size, so it's uh, it's 18 inches, I believe. 18 inches by 12 inches. Awesome, thank you. Uh, we, they are UK only on the website, I believe. Uh, we did have some in the warehouse sale and we had that on uh, last Sunday. Uh, whether there's any there in the US still or not, I do not know. Uh, but it's worth having a look. Uh, I think in the H I think HSM might have them if you're in the States and want to get your hands oh, on them. Oh yes, they normally do stock them, Joe. Yeah, they're a great, uh, great map to use. And really good if you um, if you're good with your knife because they just it just glides around and uh, takes any pressure out of your fingers. So, just popping that through, I'm just being ultra careful to make sure that they don't slip. But again, if they slip, um, I've got them. Uh, and even though I've got them already done, I just want you to see how beautifully they cut out because they really do, first time, cut really lovely. Take all my extra, so you've got all of these. I mean, that in itself is another extra uh, square that you can do. If I then pull these out, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, every one will cut beautifully. Those bits will all flick out. Taking all those, I mean, they are just amazing. So once you've got all those, you can uh, stick them onto there, which is what we're gonna do. Or I'm gonna bring in my other box because what you can also do is cut them into it. So can you see, I've actually used those dies and cut on the inside. But you've also got, what I was saying, this outside panel die. So with the outside ones, I've just cut out some cream. And then I thought it would be really nice to actually have these on the inside of your card Ooh. so it will show them but if you wanted to keep these out you could put a little tea light in there and it would show through which maybe a nice way to use up some of your off cuts of your vellum as well uh, oh yeah great idea so let's bring in a piece of card just so we can put our uh, dotty tape pen we'll use that one because that will go all over this surface and that will make sure that we can stick all our little pieces of cards. So if you haven't yet got a dotty tape pen, honestly, they're a total game changer. They're brilliant for your intricate die cuts. You will love them. So popping that all up. And our last one. And then I'm just gonna switch out just to, oh, we'll do that afterwards, we'll do one job at a time. Pop them over the top. I'm just making sure that they don't come in line with my bottom piece. What would you, be putting, what would you be putting in your box, Debbie? Oh, I think some chocolates. I got lots of chocolates for my birthday, Jo. I know, and now you've brought chocolate in and I can't <laughs> stop eating it. Honestly, it's like a hate crime's happened out there. <laughs> yeah, I did get some nice chocolates, so I thought, right, I can't eat them all on my own, so you're all going to have to help No, a man that can. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's always sweet fest up here though whether it's cake or biscuits or sweets there's always something isn't never there never quinoa is it or you know green smoothies <laughs> no. never <laughs> or you know mung beans don't see any of that no it's all chocolate cake and donuts <laughs> 
<laughs> Bernie's normally good. She, she hasn't, I haven't seen none today, but she normally brings in some homemade cake. She does. Not today, though. No, not, not today. today. She was too busy. We had a very busy Soft Side of Life show. You can go uh, and watch that back at any point, of course, over on our website. We had a brand new launch on the show today. It was very, very busy. Uh, and also, we had some great discounts on some fabric. So pop back and watch that back whenever you like. Very nice. Yeah, they're good shows to watch, aren't they? I love uh, watching Bernie. I think she's a very therapeutic person. She is. Yes. Lovely to watch. Has a really that really calm teaching voice. Yeah, and she's love also quite. She's hilarious as well. Oh, she's she so always funny. Has me giggling. She's so funny. Yeah, and she's brilliant at her um, at limericks. Yes, she she's is. She's so good at limericks. She just thinks of them at the top of her head. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. I used to, Joe. I used to like, when I was little, I used to write poems. Oh, really? I used really? to love writing poems, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can still do it. Any? I can still do it in my, what, ones that I've written? Like no. Written ago. no. You could bring us in, you know, poem by there might be some the in fish my, um... age seven. I'd love to hear some of those. <laughs> I used to be really good, but now I think of them before I write them and then I can't remember them, so I never get them down on paper. <laughs> There's a poem in itself, I think you just, there you go, there's a poem for you right there. <laughs> oh dear. Right, oh, so. Hi Q. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Look, I haven't cut my little slit into this one here. Charlotte just said to me, oh gosh, did you go even go to school, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> A haiku. A Apparently haiku. it's a three sentence poem. Three sentence Would you like poem. to give me an example, Charlotte? Oh, we've done that. Oh, right. I thought you might have had one yourself. <laughs> so there we go, Jo. Oh, and I haven't put my... So let's pop these on. I'm going to put the purple ones so we know that we've got matching boxes. So I've just put mine through the Zyron. You can use your dotty tape pen um, or whatever else you've got to your adhesive sheets. Uh, which would go really lovely on them. So let's just pull off our last two and put them into place. And there we go. We've got two boxes that we've made the same, but looking very different. One cut in uh, and one cut out. And there we go. Excellent. Love that. And just one of so many different ways in which you're going to be able to put them together. Remember what you're getting in there. So you're getting the, uh, the happy heart which is this one just here. You've also got, oh, <laughs> you've also got uh, the country cottage. You're going to receive the um, locking heart and also the ornate favor box as well. And this is what they are going to make up for you. Really beautiful, very, very usable, uh, and a great size actually for a whole host of different things and different jobs. I can see some lovely little homemade Turkish delights in there. They'd make a great balloon weight as well if you wanted to use them for that. Wonderful for lanterns too. Um, Charlotte has come back to me on a high, is it haiku or haiku? Haiku is a type of short poetry. Uh, short form poetry originally from Japan. Traditional Japanese haiku consists of three phrases that contain a kureji or cutting word. 17 on in a 575 pattern and a kingo or seasonal reference. Similar poems that do not adhere to these rules are generally classified as senryu. Maybe then he taught you about that in Morpeth because we didn't certainly learn about that where I went to school. Did you? Did you, Debbie? No. Neither no. did. Maybe it's a Morpeth thing because Johnny, Johnny had no idea either. Right, okay. Oh, oh we... <laughs> Hang on, let's go back to Debbie. What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha, what was that? What happened there? I just dropped the die on my foot. Like, <laughs> did it hurt? Well, it stabbed me. It was, it was, the, it was the corner die. <laughs> It was this. Oh, it was, it come was, it was this style. It landed like that, so the the point hit. Have my you got nice open-toed sandals on? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, I'm not allowed in the studio. I haven't. Who said that? Oh, who I said that indeed? Who said that indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Vellums. That's what we're going to look at next. Gosh, I don't know what's going to happen over the next three hours, guys, you know. Uh, Garden of Love is what we've got here for you. 24 sheets of vellum here, A4 size, works well with the Garden of Love, or uh, on its own, in its own right, 1039 or 1356. Do you want to print on your vellum? Well, then, absolutely you can. We've got printable vellum paper here for you. Uh, brilliant price on that, 15 sheets, 319 or 399. 
20% off all vellums today. We've got this one here. This is a vellum pad from the Farmhouse Nature's Garden Collection, 19.99 or 23.96. Vintage Diary. Oh, that's a good price, isn't it? For the vellums from that. Uh, that is your uh, 11.99, 23.96 there uh, on that one. Uh, Caring Thoughts, that's what I'm sending to Debbie after she injured herself. 19.99 or 23.96 for that one. Uh, we've got the Rose Garden 6x6 vellum pad. This one is 10.39 or 15.96 if you want to get that one. Uh, or you can get it in 12x12 12 12 if you want. There it is 19.99 or 26.36. And finally, Woodland Friends is one of my favourite vellum pads, this. Uh, you've got that one there for you, 19.99 or 23.96 again. Right, let's go and have a long little look at that gift maker selection that we've put together for you. What you're going to get in here is a load of tools that are going to help you do all the kind of jobs uh, that you're going to see Debbie doing throughout this craft class. So you've got Nina cardstock in here, you've got red liner tape, your uh, adhesive, a couple of packs of ribbon in here, the coll owl purpose, and you're also going to get six of our awesome uh, metallic markers in here too. The metallic markers are brilliant. It's gone to a whole host of different surfaces. And the other great thing about them as well is that um, they you can watercolour with them, but then they set permanent. So you've got in here, uh, this is the rare minerals, which is what you are. No, you're not. You're getting the antique elements included. What am I like? Uh, so the antique elements uh, is this one just here. So you're going to get the an ancient bronze, the aged copper, the rose gold, tarnished silver, vintage satin, and you get the antique pearl in there as well, which is brilliant. £28, $44 becomes $22.40 or $35.20 uh, for Club Inspire boxes. Khaki Blue wants to know, can you paint on vellum, Debbie? Can you paint, paint on vellum? vellum. Uh, yes, you can. You have to be a little bit more, um, uh, don't make it so wet. Uh, but if you're very careful, yes, you can absolutely paint onto vellum. But if you did get our um, acrylic markers, they will go onto there beautifully. Okay, awesome. Uh, Crafty AJ, she learnt about haiku uh, at school in Liverpool in 1974, she's letting me know. There you go. Charlotte feels very vindicated. She's demanding an apology. Uh, I'm so happy for you. Uh, that's the name of the first uh, stamp and die set we're going to look at. We're going to look at now our floral frames here, which are excellent. Love these because you can use them on different orientations. You've got uh, different sentiments within here as well. So it means that you're going to be able to uh, mix and match those two. So you've got, I'm so happy for you. You then have this one just here, uh, which is may all your dreams come true. Uh, that one's that one there with the fox glove on. I love that one. I think that might be my favourite out of these, actually. You've then got heartfelt uh, thanks. This one here is your with love from me to you. You're going to get you mean so, so much to me. And you're also going to receive as well uh, for a special friend, uh, which is this one just here. And again, play around with the orientation, how you use them. Use your different colouring medium. So you're going to really be able to uh, create something quite stunning uh, with these ones. Uh, it's 5196, 59.80 if you're a Club Inspire Platinum member uh, for those ones just there. Uh, remember also about that penny sale which is happening over on the website. Uh, go over there, have a look, buy one item, get another item uh, for a penny, uh, which is incredible. Uh, but floral frames, Debbie, they're lovely these, aren't they? Yeah, they're so pretty. I just want to show, before we do the demo, uh, I just want to show you some of the concept cards that you can do with them because what I love about them is the fact that they have this really pretty stamp design but then you have this aperture oh put that the right way then you have that gorgeous aperture that goes through them I mean that poppy is just divine such a pretty uh, pretty one uh, this one I love the, now this one I think would go really well with our beautiful collection Boy, that it? just come out it would work so well with that but this reminds me almost like and I also think I know it's a strange thing to say Joe I think this would be a good Christmas card it reminds me of gnomes I think it's the shapes of the flowers in there and it's got that so I think if you've done these as Christmas flowers and you use great them idea. Uh, with your little gnomes I think that's a great one so they've just got that versatility of being able to cut so you might want 
to do them this way uh, you might want to stand them up this one's like in a little got a little stepper on the inside so stands up beautiful design you might want to paper oh that one is not in the collection um, I love this one so being able to elongate it so you can have it this way cut the cut up bit in this one is great because you've got then that piece that you can put back in the middle or put back in the center so really lovely designs but I'm fully aware I've got some in here that were um, in another pack I so think some of them were uh, auto ship, just yes. on, the, on the auto yes, ship yes absolutely so um, and there we go and a stepper card as well so lots of beautiful designs that you can make with those but what we are going to do because we are given a gift today um, we are making gifts today we're going to make a box out of them which is a really clever way uh, of using them being able to colour and using those stamp effects so uh, I'm going to take my I'm so happy for you and we're going to take our flowers so we've got our stamp set there and we've also got oh it's stuck in there Joe there we go the sellotape has stuck to it so we've got our inside cutting piece and we've got our main die so taking this off and pulling this one out now these are photopolymer stamps I am just going to, before we do anything else, I'm just going to fold in. I've made a box lid here and I've made my card. So just in case anyone wants to know, I've done it just under nine and a half and just over seven and a half. And I've scored it at one and two um, increments of an inch. So we're just going to uh, fold all these into place and burnish. I always like to do this if we are die cutting because when you're putting it through a die cutting machine it sometimes um, eases that out, eases out your score line. And then I'm going to bring in my stamping platform. I'm wondering, actually, it's not going to fit on there, Joe, but because we've got a big stamp, I am just going to use the platform and I'm going to bring in my stamping mat. There we go. A Patty says a floral frames collection was my first purchase from Crafters TV. It happened to be on the first show I ever watched. I was totally hooked uh, after that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, they are so amazing, aren't they? I, I love um, when you can do something different with stamps and having that aperture line cut out just looks so beautiful. So let's pop that into place and I'm just going to find myself uh, and I'm going to use alcohol ink. So I'm going to use... And you've got a rustic brown here. Let me try and find a different one. Oh, there we go. Flagstone, which is my favourite. So bringing that in, we're going to pick this up and then give that a stamp. So just make sure that you stamp all your surface. You can use your rocker blocks. These will fit onto your large rocker blocks or any of your stamping platforms. Awesome. And then uh, I'm just going to turn that round. Sorry, uh, Joe. Great that you can get so many. Great that it's a great use for all of your colouring mediums. These as well. So if you're someone that owns, you know, uh, all of the Spectrum Noir range, I guess you could use any of them on here, Debbie. Oh, totally. Yeah, you can use any of them. I, I, I think you whatever you love to colour in. So uh, you do you, boo. Hey. You do you, boo. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you. I'd love to know what the majority of our crafters Ooh, actually uh, colour with. Yeah, what spectrum yeah. of colouring mediums do you what own? Is your Let me know choice. in the comments. Absolutely. Face, uh, if you're on Facebook, Crafters TV. If you're on YouTube, Crafts Companion. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what ones do you own mm. and which are your favourites. I'd love to know. Yeah, absolutely. What ones do you own and which ones are your go-to, Debbie? Oh, my go-to are tri, tri blend. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, no question at all, Joe. Um, they are my first pickup always. Um, and I know we shouldn't have favourites because I genuinely love everything we do. But if I just want to do the colour, and I'm always busy, Joe. That's the that's the downside, I suppose. Um, because we're always crafting, always busy, always got the next show to think about. So they are just the quickest things that you can use and they're so handy because you've got those three pen blend. So I'm going to bring in my big Gemini plates. I've put my die into that centre and then we're just going to cut that out. But you can see how beautiful they stamp. When you have got photopolymer stamps, uh, it makes a massive difference because they do stamp absolutely beautifully uh, and normally first time, so uh, you haven't got to go in with an extra one. 
Uh, lots of you say, uh, lots of you, um, uh, Rachel, our social media superstar, so she owns everything, but she's an illustrator girl at heart. Ah. Mm. Illustrate is quite a popular response, apparently. I think it's because um, there are absolutely, for me, the creme de la creme, aren't they, the illustrators? Uh, and they have the most amazing brush nib, as well as a really smaller bullet nib, which is good. So what I am going to do, Joe, let me bring in a piece of card to colour with underneath. And then we're going to bring this to the top. I'm just going to make sure all my lines are scored in. And then we're going to do a little bit of colouring. So popping these in. And to make our box lid, I'm just going to bring in my scissors and snip up. So I always snip up, take a piece off and then just snip a little bit in. That gives me some wiggle room if I need it. Um, it's never your scoreboard if it doesn't come right. It's always maybe your paper isn't trimmed to size. Okay. And sometimes it can be out like the smallest amount, Joe. But it just means that when you put your sides together, you might have a tiny bit that sticks out. Right. When you cut that end bit off you can it's got that wiggle room so you can tuck it in which is good so just pop in this on one more and that one there we go so that gives us our box lid I do have my um, box face so we'll just give this a really sort of quick coloring so I'm going to bring in my pens I've got a couple of different ones just to color in this flower and I'm just going to do it really quickly to show you just how quick you can lay down the colour with these flowers. There we go. And then I'm adding just a little touch of the darker around the edges. And you can see I'm not being too fussy. I just, oh, dropping my pen. That's the third time. Very clumsy today, yeah. aren't I? I know. Well, that's the third thing now I've dropped, so hopefully that is it. I won't drop any more. So letting that blend in, then we'll go to our next flower. So I love this, Joe, that we can just do really quick colouring. Um, Lee Lee Rugg says try blend markers. Um, Michelle. Uh, loves tri blends. Pamela says, I love my illustrator markers. I don't have all the colours yet, so I typically use my tri nib brush. My try that again. I, I just had a chocolate finger, that's what it is, you know. Debbie. Ah, you pinched one, it was didn't you? It's a little you? bit of noise outside, so I went to investigate, and on the way back in, I mean, if I see a chocolate finger, Debbie, there's no keeping me away from it. Uh, Pamela says, I love my illustrators. I don't have all the colours yet, so I typically use my brush nib tri blends because they are awesome. Uh, Lynn says I have all the Spectrum Noir pens and my go-to ones are the tri-blends for me. Yeah. Beth has a mixture of illustrators and tri-blends along with a hint of classics uh, and uses them all together. Uh, Need got the classics, the tri-blend, the tri-blend brush, the tri-colour, the aqua tint. Love tri-blend brush the most because of the way they glide. I've tried other lines but the Spectrum Noir are the best for me. Uh, and oh, Val says I have the original, uh, I have the original classics, pencils, aqua pens, art liners, acrylic markers, oh and some sparkle pens, I use them all depending on the project, so there we are. I love that, yeah, and now they do know. have all their, their uses, so I'm then just going to quickly go in with a real darker one so we can get some real highlights into there just around but I wanted to do the whole image so you can see how quickly we can uh, bring some color and add that real definition and 3d effect when we use those darker colors together but I'm doing this all with one pen which is pretty cool awesome yeah you can get it all from the one pen yeah. um, I think they're out of stock at the moment the tri blend brush pens I know we had an incredible deal on them for members uh, week so I know lots of you though will have of course got your hands on them which is fantastic uh, but as we said you can use absolutely anything you want i mean i guess if you wanted to fussy cut you could nothing stop you decoupaging some of these back up is there debbie oh god that's a brilliant idea love that joe uh yeah you could just stamp your flowers couldn't you and then uh, absolutely decoupage them love that idea yeah, it's, there's just loads you can do with these and loads of concepts. So think of your dome cards, your stepper cards, your um, diorama, your um, what they called the uh, tunnel books, which are actually similar to diorama, pretty much the same, aren't they? Your Z fold cards, anything you can uh, put them on, any concept you could put these onto. 
and everybody loves florals, don't they? Absolutely, I don't yeah. Think Timeless, there is aren't they? Yeah, also. totally. Uh, yeah, something you've got to be all, you know, ever popular. Joy Sampson says, I love all of my spectrum now, but I'm crazy about the aqua markers. And my pots have sparklings as well for backgrounds, but I love my tri blends for my stamp. Joy makes some absolutely stunning backgrounds. She sent us in pictures uh, of some of the backgrounds that she's made several times before. They are absolutely awesome. Uh, Sam McDonald says, I have everything from the Spectrum Noir range. The lot, full collection. Uh, how awesome is that? Very nice. Yeah, I think that's uh, amazing. Must have a very well-stocked craft room. It's, um, it's good when you have a choice, isn't it? I used to think, uh, Joe, why would people want all the different ones? Right. But actually, they do all have a place. Um, and I love that about Spectrum Noir. We don't bring anything out that we think people won't need. Mm. Uh, there is a place for everything. I really love that everyone loves their uh, alcohol markers in general because they are the easiest ones to use. I just think if you uh, are not sure which ones to go for, Tri Blend are always those ones that uh, look beautiful. But look how quick that was, Joe. No problem at all. We've literally got our whole image coloured out. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is bring in my base. I've then just got some pretty papers here. So let's stick all this together. So I'm just going to fold in my sides. And you can make your boxes any size you want. Just think of what gift you are putting in them. and um, Or maybe what card you're putting in them. And... Um, because boxes are great to do when you're uh, when you're making sort of a 3D card. It just makes it that little bit more special. And actually, Joe, you could make a matching card to go with your nice. box. Nice, love that idea. Yeah. Uh, and you're getting those sentiments in there as well, which is nice because they're kind of um, quite generic, aren't they? Uh, things like "I'm so happy," "Celebrate your day," uh, "May all your dreams come true," "The best things in life are free." The best things in life are free, oh. but a lot of a lot of stuff is uh, is quite expensive. It turns out. Uh, a heartfelt thanks. I'm so thankful for you. You're right there, Debbie. What, what happened? Do you want to share that with us? No, I was laughing at you, Joe. Saying well, that. I was thinking, you know, the best things in. I was thinking the best things in life are free, but you know, a couple of weeks in the Caribbean, that's not free, is it? And yes. that's pretty great. Yeah, yeah and I mean, I guess they mean like love, health, and happiness, which are all the most important things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Live, laugh, love. My friend from Yorkshire said to me, I, I've probably mentioned this before on air, he went, oh, hey, lovely flaff. And I went, what? He went, hey, lovely flaff. And I was like, lovely flaff. And he was like, no, love, live, laugh. So strong is that? Lovely, lovely flaff. flaff. Uh, <laughs> with love from me to you forever and always. Uh, you're mean. Oh, you, you. You're mean. <laughs> you're not mean. Joe. You're mean to me. You mean so much to me. You're in my thoughts, uh, <laughs> thinking of you <laughs> for a special friend. <laughs> Charlotte's mean to me, you know. She is. <laughs> she goes, oh, you, don't, you love it. Yeah, I love it when you're horrible to me, Charlotte. <laughs> So we've literally made our box from scratch, we've done our um, colouring from scratch, we've put them all together, we've done our die cutting and just made a beautiful gift box. So let's pop that in and then we are all done. I love it. I love the papers that you've used on the side of here, Debbie, as well. Really lovely dark tones in those. Yes, sometimes it's nice just to uh, give it a little bit of grounding, isn't it, in those boxes. Quite striking, absolutely. So just popping them all in. If you place. didn't want the in, if you didn't want the colouring to come through on the inside, is there a way of covering that up, Debbie? Oh, so yeah, you can see that. Uh, yeah, actually, Joe, what you would need to do is just do another piece of card the same. You could cut that same shape out okay. and just mat and layer it just inside. Pop it in there. Yeah, pop right, it excellent. in. Or you could do what you were saying, and um, and actually, Joe, let me just see. I might oh, be totally wrong, Debbie's but going I'm rogue. well. I'm wondering if the die is the same each way. Because you could re-stamp it. No, it wouldn't do it. I was thinking you could perhaps re-stamp it inside and then colour it as well. But um, it would have to be. I guess it was a, a separate one. Yes. Stamp you'd be yeah, able to it do would. That with. Yeah. So and there we go. So we've got our bowl. I have got some acetate. Oh, there it is. I have got some acetate. So let's just pop that in, and that will just finish off our box completely. So another piece there. Pop that in the lid. And then that gives us our beautiful gift box. 
Have you got some chocolate fingers to put in there? I think they've all gone. I think the, there's I some greedy people around. I think I've eaten, I've eaten around. half a packet Have you really? I've had two. I've had oh, two. Oh, I haven't eaten. I, actually, then I haven't eaten half a pack. I've eaten half a pack minus two. They I've were eaten. quite a big box. <laughs> I've seen bigger. Um, <laughs> right, if you want to get your hands on them, remember what you're getting in there. You're getting all six of those different designs. I'll just whiz you back through them. What, what did Charlotte just say? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I'm so happy for you. That's the first one you've got just here, uh, as you can see, uh, which is gorgeous. Thanks, somebody for that one, Charlotte. Uh, then we've also got in here as well, may all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, I'll hold that there. Uh, this one here is a heartfelt thanks. Uh, then we've also got here this one, which is with love from me to you. I love this mm -hmm. next one. It is absolutely gorgeous. That one there is the, oh, sorry, you mean so much to me. And then finally, uh, for a special friend, as well how gorgeous are they right very very busy on the website i'm gonna give you an opportunity to check those baskets out while you do that uh, let's have a look at what how you can watch the shop at the same time hi i'm sarah from crafters tv and i'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows, plus exclusive offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. The details there on how you can watch the shop at the same time and club inspire right i've got some viewers pictures that we're going to share with you uh, michelle sent us this one ah so michelle someone gifted her you know we talked about gifts this is someone gave michelle a gemini junior now what a great gift that is debbie that's amazing i mean honestly someone to get that and did you know michelle let us know if you knew that she was buying it for you or was it completely a surprise because that's an amazing gift uh, Sandra, this is a craft along uh, that Sandra sent in to us. Oh, uh, who I love did a that. craft along with it a was frame? Deb, uh, Jan, Jan, yesterday. Wow, that's amazing. Build a bouquet, and then she just quickly did that frame for us as well, which was wow. awesome. I really love that. Adriana has sent us in. This is Paris, Texas. Look at this, Debbie. So, it, yeah, so they've obviously. Been, that's amazing. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> no. I thought you thought was, that was actually in Paris and they'd put the hat on it? No, I didn't think the hat was a hat. I thought the hat was a big poppy. <laughs> 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 I 
That's why I laughed, because you said a hat, and I was literally going to say, what's the poppy for on the top? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you can see what I mean, though, can't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Shadiah says, Prince Joe, is Charlotte being a cheeky monkey today? Charlotte is always... Charlotte's awful. always Johnny, a cheeky monkey. Is Charlotte being... Let's, let's put it to a vote. Johnny, is Charlotte being a cheeky monkey today? She is. Debbie, is she a cheeky monkey today? Yeah. She is. I'm sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> you know, the jury has spoken. Court adjourned. <laughs> Where's Judge Judy? Where's Craig when you need him? In here is Judge Judy, his little knocker. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh, right. Anyway, what, what are we doing next, Johnny? Left fold alphabets and numbers. Okay, right. Let's bring this back. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, these are excellent. Now, this is something we've selected from our penny sale, which is brilliant. Uh, uh, and this is great because what you've got is you're only paying for the numbers, which is awesome. And then what you're going to get for a penny is you get the letters, which is awesome. The letters should be £30. You get them for a penny. Reduced from £29.99 to one p what an amazing deal now the great thing i hope simon doesn't know about this i don't think he does uh, a great thing about this is that you can of course lift all these up so you get loads of dimension they give you lots of opportunity to craft as well because of course you can do all your little uh, backgrounds you can put things like mirror board glitter matte mirror behind them too they're just really awesome i think they're very modern great for home decor debbie but also great for any kind of card style really i'm guessing I, I'm actually, I, you know what, let's put this into perspective. You are getting a full set of alphabets that you can cut out just as a normal alphabet for a penny. That's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Uh, you've got to go for this, even if you buy it for a gift for somebody, uh, because you're going to be able to make really personalised cards. I think this one is beautiful. So 90 on the front, but look how gorgeous that is. I mean, just having that nan, having that liftable elements. If you want to keep these up a little bit right, what you could do is put some uh, Kalau not Kalau, sorry, 3D glue gel. Uh, squirt it into the backs and it will keep them upright instead of letting them fall, fall back down. <laughs> Joe, you just made me laugh by just looking at you. <laughs> you looked at me, I didn't look at you. <laughs> but you smacked at me. <laughs> I don't mind, but I'm not even laughing at anything at the moment. So, uh, yeah, so someone, then we've got our Mr. and Mrs. You can write. What I love about these, Joe, is the fact is you can write whatever you want in them and we can put whatever age. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. That's what people say, don't they? Sorry, sorry not, not sorry. sorry. <laughs> Love you, mean it. That's the one I like the most. <laughs> so we're going to just make a really quick card by putting the numbers on the front. So I love the fact we can use nesting dies. I've just got some of our beautiful paper pads here. Uh, I've done our mats and layers, and then we've got our gorgeous uh, dies that we can put inside. Now, what's fun about these? Again, they don't have the numbers. Don't have that cutting line at the side, so you can keep them in but really easy to snip, snip out if you want to just use them as a full set of numbers. Um, and what's really good about them, Joe, is all the alphabets and all the numbers, it doesn't change how they look just by cutting that line down. So you are um, guided by the line and um, <laughs> I sound like I was going to go into song then. Guided by the lines, so we're guided by the light. Um, so just put in our uh, numbers there. Popping that through, and then we'll run that through our Gemini. Anne says the wheels are off now. Well, do you know what? It took an hour and 25 minutes. So I think we did really, really well. <laughs> I think we did really well, Debbie. We did really well. Yeah, we have yeah. done really well. So have you had a bit of a crazy weekend with laughter, No, it's you? been all right. I think I've been... Someone Aww. said that I've been on... Someone this said I've been on best behaviour yesterday. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you get to, you get to, you get tension if you got Jan in, teach headmistress Jan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. We actually had a really good laugh yesterday with Jan. Ah, oh, she's so lovely. I haven't seen Jan for a while. 
Um, I see a few weeks ago, well, maybe a couple of months ago actually now, so you lose track of time. So we've got our 65 that we've cut out on our plate here. Uh, and again, you can see they come out. But if we was to just snip them out, you would have your numbers um, at hand. And then I've just got a little easel, uh, not an easel cut, a stepper car where I've just layered up here. I've just gutted this. I'm not using this bit, but I've just gutted this out. Uh, and we're just going to stick this together. I've also then got some of the elements. Do the elements, I don't think we've got the stamps and the elements, have we? What I've done here, Joan, is because I've used um, patterned paper, I've actually cut them out again. So this is what I'm saying, to be able to cut them out completely, you don't lose uh, the actual outline of them. And we're just going to pop that straight over the top. And that will just then make that pop out. Pop in that into there. And our next one, and I'm just making sure I layer them completely over so they don't stick, so they will still pop out of our card. So even when you're doing it out of darker paper, always mat and layer those extra numbers because they look really pretty. So just going to pop some glue on the back. A lot of people going for these. Uh, Mary Pat says, they, these have been on my wish list for ages. So absolutely not going to pass these up. I love the projects. They're all adorable. Uh, Joy says, this is too good to pass up. How have I missed this set? I love how they lift. Uh, Patty says, Joe, uh, I'm not making this up. This is actually what someone's written. Says, Joe was amazing yesterday. Uh, after technical di difficulties and not getting Tiffany, he pulled off the rest of the show by himself. We had a bit of a moment last night, uh, oh. Debbie, because we got 20 minutes into... Our Totally Tiffany show, two hours obviously, with Tiffany live from Arizona, and we lost Tiffany. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! no. no. Uh, so yes, but it was fine, we got through it, we had a laugh together, me and, uh, me and the crafty family lamb, so it was good. Oh, that's good. Mind you, Joe, you are a bit of a legend in that respect, um, because you did the same for me that time when I was ill. <laughs> it always happens to me, doesn't it? Yeah. I had two of you go down in like three days. It was. I was. I thought. I was. I thought there was. I thought it was something personal for a little while. Oh, what? Someone else went down. Oh, as yeah. Well, like then uh, Debbie was poorly in my oh. show a couple of days later. Other oh, Debbie. I didn't realise. And maybe it happens in threes. That and us losing uh, Tiffany yesterday. That's it. All done now. Yeah. All done. So I'm just gluing and I'm making sure that where I glue, it's only uh, around those numbers so they don't uh, come out. And then we're just going to pop that into the centre, popping that back in. And because we've got that, we've gutted out that middle section, we've then got the yellow cut or the green coming through nice. the bottom there. So nice and simple. And I have just got a little happy birthday and some flags to go across there. But nice and simple, and the fact is, anything that you've got in your stash, you can then use to personalise. And there we go, let's pop that there. There we go. There's our beautiful 65th happy birthday. Uh, really, really gorgeous, and just one of so many different things that you're going to be able to do with those. Remember, you're getting all the numbers and the alphabet for, well, platinum members, £12 or $16. Cyrus Creation says, Joe was well behaved yesterday, but we all knew it would derail when Debbie arrived. <laughs> Today's fake Friday, right, for myself, <laughs> for Johnny, for Charlotte. Charlotte's off for a week after today uh, as well. Uh, and so who knows what's going to happen during Second Chance Sunday tonight. I sense it could be a hilarious one. Uh, right, <laughs> I need to share with you firstly the metallic markers. This is brilliant because these are all in stock at the moment, which doesn't happen all that often here with these. This is how they come to you, getting three packs of them. You've got that fine uh, nib end and you've also got a lovely brush nib end as well for laying down lots of colour or for doing your brush lettering. And then these are the colours that you're going to receive in there. So you've got the antique elements with the ancient bronze, aged copper, rose gold, tarnished silver, vintage satin, antique pearl. Within the precious metals, you get gold plate, gold nugget, burnished copper, antique bronze, pewter, and the silver ingot. And then this one here is the rare minerals with the amethyst, blue topaz, jade green, citrine, red garnet, and also the pink quartz. Uh, £16 or $24 to get you all of them, which is great value. Uh, they should be £12 per collection. So uh, really, you know, for an extra, what, £4, uh, platinum members are getting all of them rather than one set, which is brilliant. Um, now, let me grab the magnets for you. Uh, these are awesome. These are these have not been in stock since November. These are your, I love how they all just stick together. I mean, I guess that's what they do by their nature, isn't it? Um, 
I don't know why I'm so, I don't know why I find this so amusing. You can look, like you can have like, like hours of fun with them. I think it's brilliant. Um, you get 48 in here. What are we going to use these for, Debbie? memory books we have got the memory spine uh, on the on the show Joe so if you've got any memory books you're making your envelope boxes anything like that uh, you're going to need those magnets honestly they are a great deal and you're going to use them on so many different things so uh, yeah great ones to have you could even make your own fridge magnets with them as well oh mm. we were talking uh, yeah oh what a great idea oh do you know what? I'm a bit I'm a bit um, oh, we could turn that spowl into a magnet <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> Do you not have it? Where is it? Nigel's oh, kept it. Oh, can we get it back when he's done with it? Is he going to give it back I to you? I don't know. He's, he's, I said he could have it. I didn't want it. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'll ask him. Do you know what? I'm going to message him now. I'm going to get him when he gets the T-shirts done to send me one up. You're going to come in to work one day and I'm going to be wandering around in my very own Fisher, Fisher Spow T-shirt. You wait. <laughs> It was really bad. I can't wait. I'm gonna, when we got to wiggle, we're all going to watch it back, by the way, after the show. <laughs> so what we'll do is we will get a... Can we get screen grabs and show them in the next show? I don't know. Maybe you, we could. You could take a picture of we it. We could take a picture of just the owl itself. <laughs> owl itself. And we could maybe share a picture of that in the show. What do you reckon, John? Do you reckon we get away with that? All right, excellent. Yeah. If it's up close, we'll be fine. Uh, Irish lace. From, are you all right? You okay? You sure? I don't think you're right. Have you actually seen it, Joe? No, not oh. yet. Oh my word! Wait until I see it. I've waited all week to see it. I thought I'd wait till you're in for full effect, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be worse than the wax seal. It cannot. It is worse than the wax seal. Okay. All uh, right. The frames. Now these are on an amazing deal for you. Uh, Seventeen pounds or twenty-five dollars. Platinum members, right? There should be twelve ninety-nine each. Platinum members are paying what? One pound sixty-one to get all the extra two sets. You've got your Irish lace frame, the bobbin lace frame, and you've also got that Venetian lace frame in there as well. At this kind of price, Debbie, I think if you don't own these, you just need to get them, don't you? They're an incredible, incredible deal. I can't stress enough how much you will use these and love them when you get them home uh, because they are amazing. Uh, they literally will cut into any of your cardstock, your pattern papers. I love the fact that with every intricate layer, you've got then your base cut layer as well. And each one of those cut out so it's not a case of like a create a card die so like this die for instance it will cut out all around the actual edges uh, so and then you've got your extra die that will go around that as well to cut out another mat and layer so um, let's get started we're going to show exactly how these work and I'm going to be using all of them uh, so I'm going to be using the Irish lace frame um, I wonder why she, um, Sharon called it Irish I wonder if there's an Irish pattern. In fact, Joe, if I believe Googling. rightly, I'm Googling. If I believe rightly, because our Sharon is Irish, I think was these the ones she put animals in. And I think there were some hidden animals oh, in know. the laces. Yeah, she put like late. Yeah, she put like ladybirds and things like that in there. Um, vaguely remembering from these, so um, I'm sure if Sharon's watching, she will let us know. So let me do our. Uh, we'll have to do them separately. So I'm going to pop our frames through. Now I'm using some pattern cardstock, um, some uh, just plain solid cardstock, and some Centura pearl. Uh, Irish lace is a style of uh, crochet lace basically ah. which I guess is what all lace is really uh, Irish lace has always been an important part of the Irish needlework tradition it was promoted by lady uh, sorry by our Irish aristocrats such as Lady Arabella Denny the famous philanthropist who used social and political connections to support the new industry and promote the sale of Irish lace abroad. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Karen says, always have a tissue handy when you watch Joe. You'll die laughing. I, th <laughs> I think that's a compliment, uh, Karen. Uh, and Alicia says, I have these frames. They are absolutely stunning in capital letters. They really are. And for this price, I think if you don't own them, you need to get them because they're going to do loads for you. Yeah, absolutely low. So you can see just with two of our dies, we've cut out two beautiful layers. I mean, look how gorgeous that framework is. Then we've got our layer on top of there. Then we've got our base layer. 
So then I'm going to cut out our next two layers. So we've got the, our big layer here and our next frame one. So popping them in and running those through. Uh, and I love that you've got choices. So you've got the frames if you want to create apertures, you've got the frames um, to be able to use for your picture frames, for your photos in your scrapbooking. So I love that there's a mixture of different concepts that you can use them for. And if you just want to use those intricate lace dies, you can use them completely on their own as well. But if you're into your scrapbooking, you will love these because they will go so well framing all your different designs. So apparently there's a, did you say it was a bee in the, one of them? Yeah, so... Um, there's a bee, me, in the Venetian know. lace there's a bee at the very top. So Venetian, yeah, I think there's one in every one of them. Um, and I, I'm not sure where you sort of, where you look, but they're definitely in there, Joe. So the top of the Venetian lace one has got the bee, which is just here. I don't know, Charlotte's going to come in with the super Ah, zoom. there it is, yep. I thought these were Here the ones. Comes. There you go, see it? Yeah. There's a bee in that one. I'll look for the others, Charlotte. So how did you know about that one, Joe? Ah, oh, just, you know, intuition? No, someone, uh, someone messaged oh, someone me on socials, say. yeah. Yes, grasshopper's definitely one, I can remember that. And I'm sure there's a ladybird. Is, is that, which, oh, the, I, I can see the one at the top, that's the bee. Is that no, the bee? No, that, that, I think they've all got bees at the top. Or is that the ladybird? Because that one's, that one's got the bee Oh, there. that's definitely that's the, bee. the bee. And then that one also looks a bit like a bee. No, it doesn't really, does it? That's a ladybird, that one, is it? And what's this one, then? Mm. I don't, apparently, praying mantis, dragonfly is being said in my ear. I can't, I can't see either of those things. Yeah, I think dragonfly is, uh, yeah, you just have to stare at it long enough and then it appears. Oh, I can see a beetle. Is that, was it supposed to be a beetle? That looks like a beetle. This is like Fiona's coffee grinds all over again. <laughs> <laughs> right, For anyone that doesn't so. know, uh, Fiona, when she drinks her coffee in the morning, she gets like the grinds collected in the bottom. She posts a picture sometimes in a white mug and people see what they can say mm. what they can see. They're good, aren't they? I love them. I always see uh, witches in forests and things. <laughs> like genuinely or in Fiona's coffee cup? <laughs> Fiona's coffee right, cup. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Mary Pat says, I have the gorgeous frame. I didn't know it's the bee. Um, Dana says, how cool. Little surprises oh. in the lace. Absolutely. Uh, Debbie is correct, uh, is what uh, Rachel, our social media superstar, says. If you look at the Venetian lace, top and bottom, you can see them. So there you are. Yeah, I thought these were the ones. But it's funny, isn't it, what you forget, and then you find them, and it's like a new revelation. Right, so I'm just matting layering these up. We've got our next one here. Again, I'm going to use my, let me just grab myself a bit of paper and use my dotty tape pen. So bringing that one in just so we can go around the edges. So I know that will adhere perfectly. Each one has a different one. Cheryl, Sharon showed them to us uh, on one of the shows. So apparently, yeah, each frame has a different animal within it. There you are. Amazing. Yeah. We'll have to let, we'll have, I'll have to ask Sharon. She was on just last week, actually. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was. Uh, she Zoomed. Uh, did she Zoom or Skype or FaceTime? or She did one of the things to join us in the studio for a craft house show. Uh, it was a... like, if you want to go back and watch it back, it was actually uh, a week ago yesterday was when she joined us. Ah, she's a very clever designer, Sharon. She really is. Yeah. She's uh, got a beautiful range cut. Oh, I might not be allowed to say that. Oh, is it? I can't tell you what it is. Well, you yeah, there is the a... bag. Yeah, I, yeah. Can I don't know a clue? When, no, because I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything. Can you just, like, give us, like, maybe a clue to, to like, what it, Just a little, like, there's, a little... There's some dyes. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, cheers for that. That's right, losing a pound and finding a penny. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't, because that would be really annoying, because I don't actually know when they're due out, so I don't want to give the, any games away. It's not flowers. Flowers? 
Oh, animals. it might be. There might be some flowers. Grasshoppers. Might be some flowers. Spows. Spows. <laughs> Full collection of spouse. <laughs> big spouse, Honestly, I little spouse, some I as think, big as your head. I think I've started a new new revolution with the uh, spouse. I think we need to do a, um, a, a Sarah signature collection. <laughs> Nature's garden spouse. <laughs> And if anyone's wondering what the spell means, our Fiona named it because when she did, she because they said it was supposed to be an owl, but it did end up looking like a spider. <laughs> and so Fiona called it a spell. We will try. We're going to track the spell down. We've got the spell hunter out or looking for the spell at the moment. If we do manage to capture it, we will bring you live pictures of the spell in Second Chance Sunday. Spow hunters with the fish could be a new like a new title for your new TV show. <laughs> Probably be on like I don't know, Dave or something like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> on the, just after Robson Jerome's fishing program or something. Do they still do that? Do they still do that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I had a bit of. I wonder a... where spows live. What their natural habitat is? I think they're indigenous <laughs> to the UK. Or do you think they're exotic, like a warm weather creature? A bit like a dodo. Maybe they don't, they're not around anymore, like a dodo. Maybe, they've, you know, maybe they're extinct. Do maybe that's know, why we haven't heard of them before. Do you know what I'm dreading, Joe? It's because at the end of the day, you're saying all this, you haven't even seen it. I know. You're going to be so worse when, <laughs> when you see it. <laughs> Everyone's going to be joining. What I can guarantee is after this little chat, everyone's going to join us for Second Chance Sunday. 7pm uh, here in the UK, 2pm on the East Coast, 11am uh, on the West Coast. The return of the Spow Hunters at 7pm. Dawn of the planet of the Spows. It's so bad. You're so mean to me up here. I'm not. <laughs> Do you think the spell could be related to the giraffe dial, us, Anne? <laughs> giraffe dial. I think so. Yeah, it was Craig and Ben. Oh, we could definitely mix Maybe them all. Maybe we can all, have like a we? hybrid animal collection. <laughs> Maybe that's the way forward. Oh my goodness, the things we do, things we do. So, I need to bring in my foam on a roll. Foam on a roll, 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 hey! I didn't realise there was three foams on a roll, I thought there was two foam on a rolls and then a foam on a roll, hey! I didn't realise it was it was a four line chorus. Mm. No, that was definitely how it was, yeah. Was that a haiku? Was that a haiku? There I we think go. that was, I think it was a haiku. Maybe that's why uh, Charlotte loves it so much. <laughs> Right, so let's pop our box together. <laughs> God, I'm going to have to do card of the show next. I think we've done loads. I feel like we've done loads. I don't know if we're going to have room for the card of the show, card of the day and card of the week with all the spouse in the next hour, <laughs> two hours. You'll have to tune in and find out. There's a lot of stuff on that show though, isn't there, Debbie? Is yeah, an awful packed? lot on the show. Have we got any colouring on that show? <laughs> we could get you to do the spouse. So pleased that the markers aren't on. <laughs> oh, hang on! Breaking news: back in stock. Print markers. Can you imagine? I don't actually mind because I do love the markers, but um, yeah, I just uh, I bet I'd do it really good next time. Do you know when you do something, Joe? And I, I honestly thought that's really good. <laughs> Consider I'm not a drawer or an artist, and uh, I actually thought I can do that on air because it's really simple. You start off with a love heart, um, and then ah, oh, that's a shame. The bundle it's all sold out. Oh well. Yeah. I'm just going to give my little um, tree because they look like tree discs. I'm going to give them all away because I Are don't you? think I'll do that demo ever again. With spells on them, with a spell, <laughs> prize every time, fun for all ages. <laughs> Yeah, do you think you'd would you buy them anybody if you uh... I think no collect site now. <laughs> Could make spow garlands out of them or spow bunting. I can see a whole line. Get some spow fabric done. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Birdie's on it. <laughs> Riley Blake Spell Collection. I have to say, the more I did look at him, the more I quite liked it. Did you? Yeah. I think you might after a while, Joe. <laughs> Rhonda says I'm an instigator. I haven't even seen the spell, Rhonda. I haven't even seen it. You wait until I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be worse. <laughs> Are we going to have just two hours of this giggle at, uh, at seven o'clock? I think that's a yes. So I'm just putting some extra tape down just to put my pretty ribbon. But look at that. A beautiful box. How gorgeous. Lay yeah, really lovely. And not a spowl in sight. Not a spowl in sight. <laughs> Uh, right, do you want to go gather the things you've made together, Debbie? We've we better done do loads. the show because we've only got 10 minutes left. Wow. Where's it gone? Yeah, we've done absolutely loads. So let's do our number one. So our number one was uh, our Sharon, our frames with the liftables. So number one. And then we had number two, which is our Fab at 53. Then we had our little boxes. So number three so one two three and then we did our um box here nice giftable box so number four then we did our card number five awesome and then we did our box six demos six. boom wow that's awesome <laughs> one two three four five or six you yep. can vote right yep. now uh over on crafters tv on facebook or uh crafters mm. companion across on youtube I wonder if we could like get. Wonder if we could get a picture of the spell and then have it included in the demo of the a demo of the. No, don't. Okay, because you know what happened with wax seal. It became what was was it card of the month, wasn't it? Card of the month that was. I feel like we should have had that framed and on the wall with like a little plaque underneath. Well, I don't it. think it's gone away because I. Is it out I there still? I think it is still out there. Yeah. I think we need to get it framed and put up. Uh, Crafty <laughs> Angie says, uh, you two are wonderful together. Joe, what's your most subdued side with Jan the other day? I love it when you cut up and make Debbie laugh. Debbie makes herself laugh. Debbie needs <laughs> do, no, yeah. no encouragement whatsoever. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm just an innocent bystander <laughs> in this relationship. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you're on, you're on the telly? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm clearing up as I'm laughing, yeah. <laughs> Right, <laughs> floral <laughs> frames is where we are going next. So let's have a look at these. And these are beautiful, really gorgeous, beautiful florals. Uh, great, that uh, something that's going to last you or take you all the way through the seasons by style, but also by the way in which you can add colour to these, which is awesome. We then have this one here, which is I'm so happy for you. Uh, then we move into the uh, portrait style ones. So we've got this one just here, which is make all your dreams come true. Then you've got this one, which I love. Now this is uh, heartfelt thanks. You're also going to get uh, with love from me to you, and finally, I think I quite like this one, the poppies. Uh, you mean so much to me. There's a lot of poppies growing wild at the moment, you know, Debbie. Yeah. I thought poppies, I thought, because the poppy is obviously uh, remembrance, uh, the remembrance flower, I presume that it was, it came later in the year. I didn't realise it came now, this time of the year. So what it is, Joe, is poppies are wild flowers. So they used to be classed as weeds. So uh, right. people used to get rid of them. But uh, because we've had so much rain, we've got a lot of poppies because they like the damp. They're like wild flowers. So, so. basically, are they, are they, have they come into bloom at the wrong time of the year then? I don't or, know or it's the wrong time. I think there just seems to be more of them and bigger. I'm seeing huge, huge poppies Absolutely around. Huge. When I yeah. was down, there's even like on the, on the, the A road by work, you know, as you d turn right mm -hmm. at the lights, in the central reservation there, it's full of poppies. Mm. Uh, when I was down in Kent, there was poppies absolutely yeah. everywhere. Stunning, mm. all really lovely bright red ones. Mm. So really beautiful. Uh, right, I want to move back to and just remind you about the makers, uh, the gift maker se selection uh, that you've got just here. Now, what you're going to get in there is a lovely selection uh, of bits that are going to help you do things like your boxes, uh, and create gifts essentially. So in here you've got Col Owl Purpose, you've also got Red Liner and the Tape Pen, the Nina Cardstock, two sets of our gorgeous satin ribbon, and you're going to get a set of our metallic markers in here as well. And the metallic markers you're going to get are these ones just here. So you're going to get the Antique Elements, and that has uh, Ancient Bronze, Aged Copper, Rose Gold, Tarnished Silver, Vintage Satin, 
and also the antique pearl in there for you as well, which is lovely. 22.40 or 35.20 for uh, Club Inspire Platinum members. Now, maybe you don't need the other stuff in the collection, but you're thinking, oh, I'd love to go for the metallic markers on their own. Well, you can, and what you'll get is you'll get uh, all of those three, six I've just read out, as well as gold plate, gold nugget, burnished copper, antique bronze, pewter and silver ingot, and then also amethyst, blue topaz, jade green, citrine, red garnet, and the pink quartz too. Uh, and this is how they come packaged for you in their sixes. You've got that lovely fine tip on there and you've also got that brush nib as well. Uh, the card of the show is number six, the Sharon Callis frame box. Ah, the last one. Mm. There we go, yes. Yeah, very pretty. Beautiful. We'll get that up onto the shelf. It's a tough week this week, uh, Debbie. I haven't I've seen been. any this week, have so I need to uh, need to have a look. Fierce competition. Uh, Deb, the double oh, Debbies are out uh, in front, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, we're in draw, aren't we? So how many wins do you have? Six, is it, Debbie? We've both got six. Both Debbies have got both six. Both Debbies have six. Mm. Awesome. Uh, Sandra says, uh, lots of wildflower seeds are being scattered, apparently, to help bees and other pollinating insects. Ah, there you go. That might be mm. another reason why we are uh, seeing more poppies at the moment. I didn't realise poppies can be in all different colours as well, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Blue uh, ones are I, very popular. Yeah, I thought they were just always um, red and also I've seen recently you can buy them in florist clothes which I didn't know uh, and put them in water at home so they open up at home which oh is a lovely yeah way. I didn't know that really lovely way of having them yeah uh, so what I've also got for you is the magnets uh, in here 16 in a packet you get 48 in total on uh, with these 640 or 1040 for platinum members very very busy on it and you can have loads of fun picking them all up uh, but great for I'm guessing these good things like your TP cards and stuff like that Debbie yeah they're ideal for that so uh, yeah and uh, yeah your TP cards your um, uh, buy like anything that you want to uh, enclose your envelope boxes your uh, diaries your journals anything like that you can use them on mm -hmm. excellent uh, make sure you grab those now Loads coming up for you for the rest of today and also into tomorrow here. The Hottie Scotty returns tomorrow, but before that, 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, uh, myself, the fish, and the return of the spow. That's coming up for you in Second Chance Sunday. Uh, so make sure you join us for that. A chance to see all the things we've launched over the last couple of weeks. Is it you tomorrow? Like when you said Craig's back, I thought, Craig oh, I, thought I was here tomorrow. So, no. No, Craig. So no you're going to be here with I, I'm Rebecca. in charge with, with, with Becky, yes. Yeah. So, mm hmm. Yeah. Amazing. That'll be awesome. Mm. And you've got a big launch tomorrow as well, having Debbie. Do you want to give us a, is it are you doing the launch tomorrow? I am, yes. Oh, what yeah. is it? Let's well, know. let's Go just on. say there's a few verses in there that you can uh, put into all your card creations, your boxes, your gifts, anything you want. It's been massively popular, so uh, you're gonna absolutely love it. So it's the big verse compendium. Nice, and it's sold out, didn't it? It's a today special mm -hmm. over yep. mm -hmm. uh, on HSN. Uh, it was meant to run all weekend on Creating Craft. It's sold out in one show. Mm -hmm. The stock's gone live on the website. I mean, uh, Johnny Dent, check how many have already gone. And you might not even, you may give it to the show and find you don't have any tomorrow, Debbie, might because do. I know it's been might absolutely do. flying. Lots of you've been getting your orders in. If you want to go and have a look at the show, shop the show, you can do that between shows. Uh, and what I would say is all the stuff that is in that collection right now on the website, that is what we'll be launching. There's nothing to be added or anything along those lines. Uh, right, I want to just remind you one last time of this incredible deal for you on the Sharon Callis frames. Uh, they should be, what, what they're 12 99 each, these, aren't they, ordinarily? So platinum members, you get, you get the other two, really, for what? The original value plus another... 61p. 61p. And what can you get for 61p? I Not a lot. Not even a bag of chips. Not even a bag of chips. But you can't get a bag of crisps for 60. How much is a bag of crisps? Uh, 80p. Yeah. You can't oh, even get a bag wow. of crisps, you see. You're going to get the Venetian lace frame. Uh, you're also going to get the Irish lace frame in here as well. Love that one. Uh, and then the bobbin lace frame. They're all going to come to you in there. Like really awesome fancy nesting dies that uh, is how i tend to think of them so do grab those right uh, last chance don't forget today for the penny sale as well go and check that area of the website out 
craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, click penny sale, uh, and you can see everything there. You basically buy one element, we give you another element for a pound, which is absolutely incredible value for money it really is debbie what sort of demos can we expect from second chance sunday oh uh, we have so many different ones to show you and so many different characters like we've got the really cute little character boxes so uh, yeah join us and it'll be amazing because we've got so much to get through i'm just hoping we can get through it all joe absolutely i'm sure we will there's absolutely loads uh, for you to shop for don't forget to check out your baskets very very busy in this show uh, especially for those left fold alphabets um shall i quickly show you those again uh, remember what you're getting there so you're buying uh, the numbers for what uh 14.99 they would normally be and then uh, you're getting 20 well 29.99 worth of uh, alphabet for a penny for one penny johnny's just been looking at your verse compendium show for tomorrow <laughs> oh, Johnny is not sure that it will be here at three o'clock tomorrow. Actually, I think, you know what, with the launch, uh, with Wake Up Call in the morning... Mm -hmm. Might go. Could go. It's, I think it's the only place, place that we've got left to get them. It is that, and that's it, that's apparently. It. They're mm -hmm. gone after that. Yeah. Sold out in HS, uh, on HSN, sold out on Creighton Craft. The only opportunity is here tomorrow, but uh, they could be gone after the Wake Up Call. Mm. Dear. Oh dear! <laughs> oh no 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 no! no right, Debbie, no, no. should we have uh, should we have a chocolate finger and a cup of tea? Oh, absolutely, and a little gossip. Oh, a little gossip. Just a little. Oh no, loads of gossip. We're going <laughs> to spill the tea, as the kids say. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you've got a couple of hours now to get yourself ready for Second Chance Sunday. We're going to round out the week in style for you. I love a Sunday. It was nice because you're going to Monday, yeah, fresh like start. Mm -hmm. Have a little think about all the things that you did. Have a little think about all the things you're going to do uh, next week. And uh, yeah, start afresh. So that's what we're going to do, myself and Debbie. 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. Uh, if you're on the East Coast. 11 a.m. for you West Coasters. Loads of deals in that show. Loads of great demonstration. But the biggie, you know what the biggie is? We'll hopefully see the spouse. See you there. <laughs>